Hey guys, DJ Do here. Uh, I just got done doing a video regarding the Rain Performer and its new integration with Algorithms Pro, uh, DJ Pro, and it's fantastic. Honestly, it's same level as Serato, if not maybe even a little bit better. But that got me thinking, why the hell am I not using Algorithms DJ, like full time? I've been a Serato user from day one, the SL, you know, Scratch Live to the SL1, SL2, the SL3 boxes, you know, every mixer, every controller, I've done it all. I'm a gear freak and I've been spinning a long time. And am I just using Serato now because it's there's a comfort factor in it or is because there's a cool factor in it because you're, you know, I know all my boys in New York would be like, oh, you're not a real DJ unless you're using Serato. And, you know, and even when we were using Rekordbox and thumb drives and stuff like that, that wasn't, like, cool back in the day. So when we first started DJing with laptops and using Serato, all the DJs, that's the only software, that's it. So all the OGs love Serato, and all the real DJs use Serato because that's what they were always used to. But I'm starting to ask myself, like, am I just being an old man? Or, like, I'm just using Serato, man. No, no. or am I just not up with the times, you know? Because Algorithms DJ, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to go on a limb and say this, it is next level stuff. It's the best DJ software out there, period. As far as, in my, in my own opinion, it's the best DJ software out there. This software, especially if you have a MacBook Pro, first of all, let's talk about some of the features real quick. Real quick. Serato DJ, right? Whatever. This right here, when you shut down Serato DJ, it takes a minute. When I want to shut down Algorithms DJ, it's that fast. That fast. It's amazing. You know, and you can set it if you wanted to ask you if you want to shut down. I don't really care about that because I'm not doing that. If I wanted to start it back up, that fast. That's how quick this is. That's how integrated this is. Let's talk about other things. Let's talk about streaming real quick. Streaming music on this is like heaven. So you could make crates out of any streaming source. So, you know, it, first of all, you could have Apple Music on here. Apple Music, you're allowed to use with, or you can use with DJ Pro. It's the only one that you could use with DJ Pro. Um, obviously, Beat Source, Beat Port, Tidal, all that. You could take songs in each of those streaming services without having to shut down or log out of any of them and put them all into one crate or one, one playlist. You could do that here. It'll also give you recommended tracks from each streaming services, you know, so if you're having a, a mind fart, you know, a brain fart, and you don't know what to play, it'll, it'll tell you, it'll suggest stuff for you. You know, you could also, as far as streaming services, like you could go in and say you're in beat source and you want to play a house set, but you want to do an all 90s house set. You have that there. Just, it'll go, you know, just put the genre of music and just keep checking. They'll, they'll, it'll show you 2000s house, 90s house, whatever, country. 90s country, new country, you know, uh, summer country, you know, summertime music, you know, it already separates that. You don't have even have to make your own set list. It's there already. It's already there already. It's amazing. That's that's just the streaming. The streaming is great. As far as stems, stems on here sound as good, if not better than Serato. I'm telling you right now, they're great. If you see my video regarding the Rain Performer and and DJ Pro, you can see me using, you, I'm using split, I'm using split stem features, the whole nine yards, works flawless, flawless. And it sounds great, it's clean as can be, you can hear it in the video, I'll leave a link in the description. So stems, fantastic. The sampler on here, fantastic. It even has like a little drum machine, you can add in, you can add in your own samples, you know, just like Serato, but they even have it more in depth because it's, there's kind of like a, you know, a a synchronized beat machine on onto it too. Video mixing, you could do down here. I do do gigs where I have to video mix. It's perfect. It's integrated great on here and it looks great. They even have the effects look great. It looks clean. The screens look clean. Uh, the, you know, they look great. They, they look clean as can be. Um, I talked about the samplers, the effects on here. Serato just updated their effects and they sound pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, they sound great. These effects in here sound as good as Serato effects. And there's more of them here. There's things on here that Serato doesn't have, which are great. And talking about effects, let's talk about the crossfader effect that they have. They have this crossfader effect where it'll automatically EQ or it'll automatically put a filter or it'll take out the vocals or swap the drums or swap the vocals using that neural mix feature. And you could do that with just the crossfader on here it's crazy i'm, I'm gonna have to do videos and kind of show i can't believe there's not more videos out there showing people about this software 
Um, one of the biggest things that I think is just incredible is dynamic beat gridding. Dynamic beat gridding on this, it's next level. I know I keep saying that, but it, it is. Serato's beat gridding sucks compared to this. It's not even close. This thing can lock in anything. I don't care what, everything you pretty much I threw at disco, rock, everything, it locked in that beat grid. You can, if you're an open format DJ, you can mix almost anything together. It syncs things up perfectly. And you're like, ah, we don't use sync. No DJs use sync. I, listen, there's reason, there's times for sync. If you're do, doing large BPM transitions, if you're doing that, or you may want to use sync so you could concentrate on something else. You could entertain. You could be on a microphone. You could. There's all kinds of other ways to entertain instead of just staring at a screen. You know, I grew up playing vinyl, so I've always played by ear. You know, talking about vinyl, you could use vinyl with now with with DJ. You know, it works for, with phase in HID mode. Even you don't even need RCA cables, so you could use phase with algorithm DJ. I haven't tested it yet. I do have a phase DJ. You know, a little box there. I'll, I'll give that a shot. That little remote. I want to see how that works. I'm going to have to just start doing more videos when it comes to algorithm DJ. And here's a scoop. I don't even use it that much on the road. I don't know why. Here's another reason why I should be using it on the road. Because you know what this is? This is an iPad. This is an iPad. I have an iPhone in my back pocket. I have two backup units right in my back pocket that I could play with using Algorithms DJ. I did a full house music set with just an iPad alone, without even a controller, without even a controller, with just a an eighth inch cable. Does it look cool? Probably not, it doesn't look cool. But if I'm streaming the mix somewhere, I could do this, I could record a mix right on an airplane. You can record your mixes on here. You can do anything. That's what's crazy about this software. And that's why I have to ask everybody, why are you not using this software? You know, people are buying controllers like the Rev 5. The Rev 5, you know, they have that feature where you can go from, you can transition from a lower BPM to a higher BPM, higher BPM to a lower BPM within two bars, four bars, eight bars, and you hit a button and it kind of does it automatically. They're like, how cool is that? I'm like, okay, that's cool, but DJ Pro's been doing that forever. They already have that feature mixed in there already. You, I can hit a button, it'll automatically do that as well. You know, I... It, it's just, it's just, it's a, if there's one complaint I have is the fact that I can't blow up, you know, the library for a bigger size because I'm blind. You know, Serato, I can make it like old man billboard size where here it's, you know, it's small. You can blow it up a little bit, but not as big as I like it. So, but uh, maybe it'll fix that in the future. It has a day night mode. It has, I don't know. I'm just, scratch, I'm literally scratching my head because I don't know what it is why people aren't using this software. I'm thinking that part of it is when when Algorithms DJ came out, they kind of came out with that version where, or the original version <clears throat> where they have, you know, the big turntables on it and you're kind of scratching on your phone or you're, you know, trying to scratch on, or you're on your iPad and it just looks like a toy and it looked, felt like a toy. And, and it's still on here. It's called like classic version or something. They probably should get rid of that. You know, and just to make it look like more of a pro software, because it is a pro software and, you know, hence the name DJ Pro. But they, I think it started that way. So no DJs really took it serious. It was always about Serato, Record Box, which I do use, you know, in the heat, especially, you know, I do use thumb drives. I do have a way to use laptops in the heat that I'll do another video on. But like if I'm doing large festivals and, and they only have a CDJ set up, they're asking DJs only to come in with a thumb drive so we don't have to set up a big HID rig the whole nine yards. That's the only time I use Rekordbox. I only use it for exporting. I never use that Rekordbox DJ software. But as far, but I'm a software DJ and I love this software. I do. I haven't used it at any gigs yet. I don't know enough about it yet to, to feel comfortable enough that's that's why i think i use serato so much because i'm just comfortable with it it's like it's like food you know i love mac and cheese it's a comfort food but i can't eat it forever because it'll make me fat and lazy and i think that's what serato did it made me fat and lazy like mac and cheese anyhow folks tell me your comments like subscribe i really do want to hear what you guys have to say about this i want to know why you haven't switched from record box or virtual dj or you know serato to to dj pro to algorithms i want to know i don't get paid from algorithms i don't get paid from anybody but i'm really considering looking at myself in the mirror saying why am i not using it
and maybe that's going to change. I think little by little, I think I'll be out in the system using this software more and more. Just having extra backup system, having a phone in my back pocket with a playlist on it that I could just pull up instantly and DJ with it and plug it right into my controller if I had to. Or if I had an iPad and say my controller went down, I got an iPad there. As long as I got a little eighth inch adapter, you know, with RCAs coming out in there, I could almost plug into anything. So there's just so much about it that's cool, man. I just want to know why you guys aren't using it. And, and I kind of know why I'm not using it or why I haven't used it yet. But I'm going to change that. I'm, I'm going to start, you know, mucking around with it a little bit. And we'll see what happens. So I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about Algorithm DJ and why you want one software or you use one software over the other. So let's hear you guys. I want to hear your comments. Thank you so much for tuning in again, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys, and stay safe.